finding the distance between two points in the coordinate plane. Now, to begin, let's take a look at this distance formula. This distance formula allows us to find the distance between these two points when I know the two coordinates. The two coordinates are x1, y1, and x2, y2. All right, so let's take a look at example one. We want to first start off by finding the horizontal distance from point B to A. So we're going to find the horizontal distance by counting one, two, three, four blocks to the right there. So there's my horizontal distance from point B to A. Next, we want to find the vertical distance from point B to A. So now I'm going to count down from B to A. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is my vertical distance from point B to A. Next it says to use the distance formula to find the length of segment BA being careful to show each step along the way. Alright, so I'm going to assign my two points B and A as coordinate 1 here, so this is x1, y1, and coordinate 2, x2, y2. So let's follow the distance formula. It simply says we're going to take and uh, the square root of our difference in our x's, so that's going to be 6 minus 2 squared. And we're going to add to that the difference in our y's, which will be negative 1 minus 5 squared. Okay, so 6 minus 2 squared gives me 4, that's 4 squared, plus negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6 squared. Alright, our next step then is to square both of those. When I square a 4, I get 16. And when I square a negative 6, I'm going to end up with a positive 36. Next, I'm going to add 16 and 36, and that gives me 52. So my distance from point A to point B is the square root of 52, or if we want to simplify that down, that's approximately 7.6. All right, now it says here, what do you notice about your answers from part A, B, and C? So one thing we definitely want you to notice here is that from uh, part A, this horizontal distance here that I'm highlighting, and the vertical distance here, these form the legs of a right triangle. So you could have also looked at this finding this distance from B to A as finding the hypotenuse of this right triangle in which I have a leg of 4 and another leg of 6. All right, let's take a look at another example here. In example 2, now we're just given two coordinates. Here's the coordinates of our endpoints for segment KO. And we're asked to find the distance. So let's again start off by writing our distance formula down. And so we can plug in our numbers and solve away. All right. So I'll assign K as X1, Y1, and O is X2, Y2. And here we go. Let's plug in our numbers. We have the square root, the difference in the x's, so negative 3 minus 0 squared, plus 7 minus 18 squared. Okay. Our next step then is to simplify, do our subtraction. We're going to subtract first. So that's negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3 squared, plus 7 minus 18 uh, is going to give us negative 9. Uh, I'm sorry, that's going to give us negative 11. Let's change that. All right, we get negative 11 squared. Okay, now when we square negative numbers, our next operation here is to square those. We'll end up with positives. So this is 9 plus 121. And now the next thing to do is to add these numbers. So when we add those, we'll have the square root of 130. And we can leave our answer in terms of square root, uh, 130. Or the next thing would be to take the square root. That's a square, the root. Uh, and that's going to be approximately 11.2 or 11.3. Okay. Uh, so that's our distance from K to O. All right, one final example for today here. This is example three. It looks exactly like example one because it is. We're just asking you to consider solving this problem using Pythagorean theorem. So again, ask us to find the horizontal distance from B to A. Remember back in example one, we said that that horizontal distance was four. Next, it asks us to find that vertical distance. So again, that vertical distance here is six. So again, we've created the legs of this right triangle now. Now it says to use the distance formula. Oh, sorry, this one says to use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which says take a squared plus b squared is so equal to c squared. And uh, so we got our two legs are 4 squared plus 6 squared. 
and that's going to give us 16 plus 36, which again comes out to be 52, but that's equal to c squared. Now, we don't want to solve for c squared. We want c. That's the length of that hypotenuse. So we need to now take the square root of 52, and the square root of 52 is approximately 7.6. So again, you should see that those answers from example 1 and example 3 are exactly the same, but we have two different methods to get to that same distance between those two points. We can either use the Pythagorean theorem or we can use the distance formula. In your summarized section for today, you'll be asked to consider using both of them in order to find the length of a segment.